welcome back to another reseller vlog if you're new here my name is gloria and i'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps multiple being poshmark ebay and mercari we might be getting rid of mercari really soon i just want to give you guys a day in the life maybe possibly even two days in the life of what a full-time reseller looks like um i kind of have a plan to go source them today but i am currently on poshmark because I took all my photos yesterday of the 12 items that I wanted to list today. The problem is, is that I thought I would call myself helping myself out by photographing, but I didn't edit them or put them in Poshmark. So I'm um, currently putting them into Poshmark now. Um, so this is kind of, you know, holding me back a little bit. I got up at 5.45, it is currently 6.09. I have not been up this early in a very long time. The thrift store that I want to go to well, the thrift stores, um, they're on the opposite side of town. I also need to return a dress for clothes mentor. So I feel like I should keep it and then resell it, but I kind of don't. It is new with tags. It's city chic. It's like a plus size brand. Um, I tried it on when I was there and I actually loved it. You're back and I listed it. All right, y'all. So I actually just got done um listing the items it is currently 6.59 for some reason y'all i've been getting quicker and quicker and quicker uh with my listing now i've cut a whole hour out y'all like a whole hour i saw almost forgot um somebody did ask me kind of like my process for a flip on my last reseller vlog so i'm gonna kind of show y'all you know the gist of what i do okay so this is essentially what flip looks like you just, you know, type in the website, but you'd have to be a part of it first. So just remember that. So since I'm a part of Flip already, this is what my homepage looks like. And um, you'd always go to new items. And then I like to import from Poshmark because that's where I draft all of my listings. So then I would click that and then I'd pick all of them. Now, these are the ones that I just photographed um, yesterday and I listed this morning. So um, they're here. And also, it'll show the items that have been relisted on Poshmark. So it'll kind of show up like new, you know, items, even though they're not. So I don't bother um, importing these because they are old listings that just got relisted. So yeah, so I only did 12. So I'm going to back out of here. So since I've already uploaded them, um, I'm going to go ahead and discard that. And these are all of the items. Now what it does, it shows at the bottom where is this item like at currently so once I finish this one it'll show Mercari is on there so generally this is this actually doesn't have a brand tag so I'll just build this out it's typical um, like how will it be on any other platform why am I in capitalization so yeah this is a t-shirt so I'll do t-shirt and then this was a size small and then buyer is gonna pay this is eight ounces roughly and then $4.99 for shipping. And Mercari will drop this one down to $15 because this shirt isn't worth that much. And that is pretty much how you do it. Now it shows that Mercari is green lighted as well as Poshmark. So now we're going to move on to eBay. And then I'll go down and they actually make you put a brand on eBay. So I'm going to just put Khalid. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then this is a men top eBay isn't as hard as people um, say it is, but it is a little bit more tedious because they have so many fucking options. So it does get a little annoying, but that's pretty much what it is. So then you just fill it out. You know, all of these drop downs you want to fill out. Yeah, this one definitely takes a little bit more longer. But see, I told you I got my processes down. Like, I kind of got everything memorized. And for some reason, the other one doesn't pop up. So I just put first class. And then when it's time for me to ship, I will, um, you know, drop it down. So if you guys haven't noticed, I actually put this price at $9.99 because my offers are locked on eBay. And that is the lowest that I'm willing to go on this item is $10. So that is pretty much my process on how I cross list and yeah that's that's how it looks so I'm gonna um just save that and back out and it's gonna refresh really quick so then that's what it looks like so each one of my listings are gonna look just like this basically with that up under it once I finish all of them I feel like I'm at a place now in my business where I have managed to kind of 
upgrade you know the items that I get in a sense so I don't really pick up like super low tier that item that I just showed y'all that Khalid one kind of is I didn't even check comps I just felt like oh tour merch from um any type of you know artist is gonna do great I didn't even look up comps and I should have because most of the listings are between uh 20 to 25 and they're not sold and I did look on I, I googled it um I didn't really look at you know eBay specifically so that's probably where I, I really messed up it's very telling um that I'm kind of phasing out all of the lower tier items just because I feel like when you are a bins picker you naturally want to pick up just about everything because it's so cheap I have literally gotten out of that that's what I love the most about being a reseller is that you're literally pivoting so much so you can get comfortable and then out of nowhere that is no longer in season that is no longer in style nobody cares for that brand anymore oh here it is see i knew what was over here oh, so here it is this is just too convenient y'all okay not you getting hooked on embarrassing me so what i kind of like to do with my inventory that's on a hanger they're all kind of kind of thrown everywhere but for the most part this one is the way that it's supposed to be so I have my oldest item all the way up until you know the newest item and it's kind of like a zigzag situation so when um, you know these go quicker I will go ahead and put them down and then make room for the new item so everything that is new is going to start off over here Honestly, I just kind of throw whatever into the dresses and then I kind of messed up the sweater one But right now this area is where all the new ones are going. So I kind of messed it up, but that's totally fine Got the goods so let me show y'all what sold he is actually sold on eBay These are just some Nike rip away like pants. These are some a uh, goldie jeans This is a free people top this is a Knox Rose dress. This is Ralph Lauren polo jeans. This is just a random ass shirt that I picked up. This is a Patagonia better sweater, I want to say. I got a whole bunch of, you know, shipping supplies. Now, I purchased, or I didn't pay for it, but I got a lot of these Tyvek mailers because I only have one, and this is like my primary shipping, um, you know, supplies they didn't come in yet so i'm a little annoyed by that but i did get two boxes of these um bubble mailers and then i did get more boxes okay y'all so um i'm actually about to use flips order page to print out all of my labels so i just made another sale on ebay this is just a task performance kind of like a crew neck sweatshirt also want to only pick up items that i'm going to sell for over forty dollars so that is gonna be something and i better come home with something now i have not been to this one it has to be over a year now just made um a sale on mercari surprisingly right they just sent me an offer so i'm actually going in and deleting the listing on um poshmark and ebay it's actually something that i just listed this morning so that is really nice. Very quick flip there. So I saw this wild fox sweater and I couldn't help but look at it. Honestly, I would never pick this up at a thrift store as well as an item like this. These are bins pickup and I could sell for 15, 20 bucks, but I would never pick it up at a thrift store. These are actually all of my um, items that I'm deciding if I wanna take home or keep. The blue tag was actually half off. Um, I decided to let both of those stay at this store. I love John Mark, but that style just wouldn't warrant over $35. This is gonna be a new to me brand. It does sell really well in the men's department, but not so much the ladies. Um, this was a new to me brand. I did take this home, so you guys will see more on it later. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I decided to take that one. And then I also took this one home. It was half off. New to me brand. Let me know down below if you found it before. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we've made it to the second location. Um, I'm excited to see what's in here. So I just knew I manifested some Rothy's, but these were not Rothy's. I don't even know what these were. 
Um, so of course those got left behind because I'm like, why? And then of course I am in my very favorite section, the denim section. And you know, I was just perusing and I did find something, but I'll show y'all what it is later. So this brand actually looked like it was worth looking into. And honestly, I would have picked it up at a Ben's location, but not at a regular thrift store. Although blue tag was half off, I just, I didn't feel confident enough. And then I saw these framed denim, also would pick these up at, at the Ben's only. I don't even know if colored denim is in, especially red. I think red is in, but not colored denim. And these are some Zaya Active Pants. I actually stopped picking up this brand a good year or so ago. Um, it doesn't sell as well, but I think if it was at the bins, I would have got it. These are just some denim jeans. Miss Me is one of those brands that it does sell. Um, Rock Revival, I picked it up once, and I mean, that one sat for over a year and it finally sold. So I don't pick up that brand anymore. These were a Good American, I wanna say. Um, no, were they? I don't think so. I don't know what those were, but I left those. <laughs> um, this was new to me brand as well as it is a Target Collapse. So of course I did not pick it up because you already know how Target Collapse are, but at the bins I probably would have. Um, here I am about to go through all the items that I picked up. <laughs> Marine Layer is actually a pretty good brand to pick up. I don't know if I would pay up for it, but I love looking into the brand. These are those Zaya Active Leggings that y'all saw earlier. I decided to leave those behind just because the comps weren't that great. The size was good, but I just wasn't confident I would get over 35. This is a great brand to pick up. Um, I actually sold this exact pair for $41 just now. This was giving very much so AliExpress Shein vibes, so I ended up leaving it. It just felt cheap as hell. This was something that I would have picked up at the bins, but definitely not at a thrift store. If it was real leather, I probably would have thought about it. This is Peloton, $9. I thought about getting it for myself, but like, girl, let's be fucking for real. These were some good American jeans. This wash just looked really faded, and even though it was new with tags, it just didn't look right. Um, they were a size 18 and Good American has been moving slow. So I actually decided to leave these behind. These are some beta brand, also felt the same, almost got these. But for $10, y'all, I'm gonna pass on these. Um, this one, I went back and forth. Comps were all over the place. So I was really going back and forth, back and forth. And then after I saw that the comps weren't that great, I left them. These were a pair of mother denim jeans. Oh God, I was so sad that I had to leave them, but they had a little bit of puckering and then they also had a little stain inside the crotch area. Thank God I checked because your girl would have been pissed. y'all. So <laughs> that one was semi a bust. So I'm actually really disappointed in myself because I wasted a lot of time. Um, granted, I did stay pretty close to the hour that I wanted to stay in each store. Um, but I am pretty disappointed mainly because I picked up a good 10 things and I only left with three. Um, I know that I can start like checking comps as I go, but I feel like that slows me down. It's a thrift giant, I wanna say. I've actually been in one a long time ago and I just didn't like the vibe of it. It just seemed so crowded and I just felt so just overstimulated. So I never been back in there, but I think the next time I make a trip this way, I'll probably go back. All right, y'all, we've made it to location number three. Look at this super creepy doll. Hold on. I just knew the comps on these would have been great, but they weren't, so I ended up leaving these behind. They were kind of like new without tag, um, but that's why it's so important to check the sell-through rate and the comps, because although it's a great brand, sometimes it's not gonna sell, and that one didn't. These were a pair of Zara pants. I thought they were kind of cute. Um, of course, I would never pick up Zara at a thrift store, honestly. Um, I just don't love the brand that much, but those looked really nice, and I'm just kind of flicking through. I love this brand, Can Can, but the brand does not love me, so this is strictly a brand that I pick up at the bins and only if it has pizzazz. Also, this brand, um, I wouldn't pick this up at a thrift store unless it was um, a newer style, and a skinny is not. 
and here I am just kind of going through my cart I did pick up a lot of different things especially on the new rack so I'll show you guys that in a few but here I am just kind of clearing it out and organizing it seeing what I'm gonna take and all the fun things so yeah I'll see y'all with the haul later I went back and forth with these Maywell denim jeans. These are like new without tags. They were so dark. It was a great style, but it was a 24 petite. And for $10, I just don't know if it was worth it. So I decided to leave those behind. And then I got these Athleta. Um, it's like a skirt. Honestly, I just don't love this brand anymore. So I ended up leaving it behind, even though it was half off. This was a uh, brand called White Fox. I believe it's a boutique brand. This style was not selling really well, so I ended up leaving that behind as well. And then um, I found these Outdoor Voices sports bra on the new rack. The sizes were extra small, so it just didn't seem worth it to take. I did recently sell Outdoor Voices uh, sports bra for 18 bucks, but paying $4 at a thrift store and that turnaround just wasn't going to be that great. I ended up leaving those Alpha Elite um, gray leggings behind just because that style didn't seem like it was worthy of coming home with me. Um, but I did find two other pairs of Alpha Elite and I do believe I took both of those home. One was under the guise that I would wear one myself, but nah. I haven't found Lily Pulitzer in a very long time, so I was excited to see her. And then this was a new to me brand. I'm so happy that I looked into it because the brand is actually sold at Tucker Nut, I wanna say. And this is just a really great brand, a 511 Tactical. Unfortunately, I found a flaw once I made it home. So I went in with the intent of leaving out at 1.30. It is currently 1.12. And um, it's gonna take me 30 minutes to get home. So I'll be home before two o'clock and I'm really happy about that. Honestly, all this um, trip at this location, this the third stop, um, probably my favorite of the day. Um, I got multiple things because I did have a certain threshold that I wanted to reach for all of these items in order for me to pay up for them because y'all know I am a Benz girly. Uh, so I kind of had to pay up, you know, more than a dollar today. Um, but yeah, this one was great. The new racks killed it. Three bags later. <sighs> I am tired, y'all. It is currently 157. I'm actually gonna haul all of these. Um, I know that most of them are probably in the clips of me deciding whether or not I'm gonna take it, but this is a haul. Um, I actually spent a total of 1460. Little side note, so all three of these locations are like within a 15 minute span of each other. That's why it was a really great place for me to live once I transitioned to being a full-time reseller because I actually stayed in that area and I was hitting them up like it was going out of style. This is a new to me brand called A. Dot IDA. Let me know if you've actually sold this before. Definitely a new to me brand. Um, it is a wool blend and it's just this really pretty like cardigan sweater and it does have this cute little button so you can close it up. This brand was doing really good um, as far as the comp, so that is the main reason why I got it. I will have to do a little bit more um, like sweater shaving and stuff, but I kind of figured I was gonna have to do that because, you know, it's the season, which this is probably the worst time of the year <laughs> as a reseller and all the sweater shaving. But I know moving forward when I go to the bins, I'm gonna make sure that I don't pick up items that require a lot of work because y'all know I'm a lazy reseller. This was also a new to me brand. Um, the brand is called ASOS of Switzerland. I don't think I pronounced that right because it's not like how ASOS, ASOS look, but that is what the tag looks like. And it's just kind of like, if you guys know like the cycling um, clothing, like Izumi, Pearl Izumi and stuff like that, that's essentially what this is because it does have like those pockets and stuff in the back. And then it is a full zip and whatever this little stuff is, um, in the back it says UMAGT long distance so the comps look pretty decent so I thought it was worth taking home all right so second store um, this one I actually paid a total of $17.18 what the brand tag looks like this brand has slowly declined just a smidge um, but it is still a great brand to pick up for the right price. I didn't pay much for these, so I went on and got them. I did get two of these. 
These are Mizzen and Main. These are the Barancino. These do decent. I looked up this specific style. Thank God it had the style name. And uh, they were going for over 30 bucks. So I thought I'd go ahead and grab them. So I got that gray pair and then I got a green pair. So I'm sure the same person dropped these off. These are the exact same style. And yeah, I think it's a pretty good pickup. Okay, so this location I paid $39.93. All right, so first is 511 Tactical. This brand um, has definitely like a good 90% sell through rate for me. Um, I'm so happy I look more into this because I was actually about to pass this up. This brand is called uh, Pomander Place. And I believe this is sold at Tucker Nut. It's just this really pretty tiered gauze dress. I can honestly tell y'all I have not found Lily Pulitzer and it, it has had to been about four or five months got this one this one is an extra small i do think the same person um dropped both of these off but these are a pair of alpha elite leggings these are size large there are pockets on the side and then it has that um, elastic waistband and then in the back i want to say that that no, that's not reflective. It's kind of like that neoprene material or not, not all the way, but semi-close. These are also Alpha Elite. Um, this is a really great brand to pick up. I found it at the bins twice before and they both sold for over $25. These are kind of more of a jogger style. I could photograph, but I don't have to because I work for myself. Um, I'll do it in the morning. So um, yeah, and I'm gonna most likely inventory all of this tomorrow because I really just, I'm ready to just sit down, okay? It is currently 6.30 and it is Thursday. Um, I decided to go ahead and do a part two to my day in the life because I left so early yesterday. Um, it is a perk to being a full-time reseller is that you can literally just stop working when you want to, but then there's this. This is the state of the office. Um, it's actually not that bad, like to be completely honest, um, that's the dirty clothes. So yeah, not terrible, but I didn't process any of the items that I got yesterday. The receipts are not put away. These bags belong in the trash can. And then these are just clothes that I plan on listing and I don't have any more hangers. sample I'm still listed
all right y'all um so i just showered and pulled all of my orders so um the first one is actually this national um parks t-shirt this brand is actually called parks projects and i only heard of this because i was watching the wishing clocks channel and i saw a t-shirt from this brand that she hauled and then i went on and bought it i do have it in my vlog so i'll link that down below but i went on and got it and um i just saw this brand when i was at the bins and i was like oh let me grab it and i'm glad i did because this one sold this got so much attention across all three platforms i actually never heard of this brand so the brand is called parks project i don't know anything about it but now i know <laughs> this is a rag and bone um like you know what is this like a off the shoulder situation this is just a made well t-shirt definitely a brand that i don't pick up at the bins anymore um i think this particular day i found maybe like four regular t-shirts maybe like one was new with tags and, and and all of that um but i don't pick up made well basics anymore this is that j crew um gauzy shirt that i actually just listed yesterday and it sold on a mercari this is a pair of chico travelers pants these are just some old navy pixie pants i used to watch a channel honestly i don't even remember what her channel name was um but i used to watch a channel and she talked about these old navy pixie pants just being like a great bread and butter so i started picking them up and i think out of the four that i have picked up two or three have sold um of course it is not for a high dollar amount you're going to get between 10 to 18 dollars for them but it's still a great bread and butter i was supposed to take photos but i've decided not to i think sunday is so freed up for me now that i am not like stressed on trying to film two to three videos and edit and and do all the things now on sundays all i have to do is come up in here and edit whatever video that i decided to film and then list my items and just pretty much prep my week and since i clearly have over thrifted because i still have clothes in my dirty clothes bin so i pretty much am set for sunday monday and most likely tuesday as well which is great so then um i probably don't have to go to the bins on monday but i'm most likely am um but that way i can kind of be a step ahead because i've been lightweight thinking about what my next step is because if COVID really is about to be a thing again I want to make sure that I have inventory kind of just like stashed up I think where I fall victim at right now is trying to decide what is worth holding on and what is worth listing so like if you're a death pal girly how do you know what I don't want to list right now and I'm gonna just keep that stored versus what I'm planning on listing because I can't decide so yeah, I was actually coming back to um, tell y'all that <laughs> I decided I'm gonna go ahead and photograph, where's my finger? I'm gonna go ahead and photograph um, 12 of those items because on Sunday, although I say that I don't work on the weekends, I technically work on Sunday, um, but I have figured out a way to get work done and still be able to just be in mommy mode. So photograph the items and just keep them in my drafts on Poshmark. And then I have my laptop upstairs so then I can still be able to list and cross list those items during the duration my son is with me. And then once he leaves, then I'll be able to focus on like editing and stuff like that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and photograph just so I can have it out the way and not try to like squeeze it in during his nap time on Sunday like I typically been doing. But yeah, um, after that, I'm done for the day. And I'm actually really happy because it's still pretty early and I've already pretty much straightened up my office because this is technically my Friday. So I kind of like to come back to work on Sunday with like a clean, ready to go office. And you know, let me know if y'all do that. Like. It's just something about coming back into your workspace when everything is already clean and just ready to gear for the next week. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, y'all, because you already know what photographing looks like. Um, I had already photographed this morning, so it's very boring, very tedious. Um, but let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I know that all YouTubers tell you that, but comment to give the algorithm some engagement to this video. That way the video can be pushed out to more and more and more people so your girl can grow. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one.